It certainly seems based on the evidence that Obama was involved, and so was Biden, in the Obamagate scandal. That's why it's called Obamagate. But to a lot of people, I know they all say, I know, I believe, I've seen the evidence. It takes a lot of really, really hard proof to get a conviction. And while I think there is a preponderance of evidence, I don't think we have anything beyond a reasonable doubt right now. So this story is not surprising. Barr says he does not expect criminal investigation of Obama or Biden as results of Durham probe. Nobody thought it was going to happen. I mean, a lot of people hoped it would happen. A lot of people really hate Obama. But as many pundits predicted, of course, it will be a couple low level people thrown under the bus. And then Obama will say, I, you know, I knew they were doing something and I just warned them, do it by the book. That's what we heard in that email, right? So it won't be Biden. It won't be Obama. But I still think we're going to hear important questions. And I got to be honest, I really, I think Bill Barr is a good dude for the most part. I do not like the expansion of spying powers that are falling to the DOJ. And I question, you know, the the judgment of those involved. Mostly (laughs) it's just a bipartisan effort. It's everybody. But I do like Bill Barr because I think he is trying. He said under him, there won't be investigations of presidential candidates, you know, uh, without clearance and things like that. It's not the first time he said it. And I think he really is trying to clean things up. He said the Constitution is not suspended. And here, it might be the right move. Now, perhaps Obama was directly involved. Perhaps Biden directly uh, was directly involved as well. The challenge is, and it's going to give me a lot of hate, but I got to say it, it, it's real. We don't like the fact they investigated Donald Trump. The precedent should be set that it stops. And maybe that means, you know, uh, Obama's involvement gets covered up, which would, would, be, would be really, really bad. There's there's a potential tit for tat that results in the destabilization of the country. I'll, uh, to argue in the in the in, uh, in the inverse as well, this is terrifying. If real evidence does come out that Obama was involved and nothing happens, then it's even worse. So this is the big challenge faced by someone like Big Bill Barr. I'm a milk toast fence center man, so I can't tell you necessarily what we should or shouldn't do. I lean towards it's probably the right move to simmer down to lower tensions, but I do fear if evidence comes out about Biden and Obama and nothing is done about it, then someone else is going to come in and be like, y'all can't touch me. And that's why it gets really scary. But think about what they did to to Trump with no evidence. It's like, man, rock in a hard place. I'll tell you that. Let's read the story. Fox says, Attorney General Bill Barr said Monday he does not expect U.S. Attorney John Durham's review into the origins of the Russia probe will lead to a criminal investigation of either Barack Obama or Joe Biden, while noting that their concern of potential criminality in the conduct of that probe is focused on others. Barr, during a press conference otherwise focused on the December 2019 shooting at Naval Air Station Pensacola, spoke at length about the Durham investigation. He said he has a general idea of how the investigation is going and confirmed that some aspects are being investigated as potential crimes. Barr did say, however, that not every abuse of power, no matter how outrageous, is necessarily a federal crime. As for President Obama and Vice President Biden, whatever their level of involvement, based on what I know, I don't expect Durham's work will lead to a criminal investigation of either man. Our concern of potential criminality is focused on others. This comes after both Obama and Biden, the presumptive Democratic presidential nominee, have faced heightened criticism from Republicans for any potential role in the early stages of the probe. Trump last week even called for Obama to be summoned to testify before Congress. The politically explosive environment, bringing the country into uncharted territory with a former president accused by critics of involvement in a political probe related to his eventual successor, and the sitting president now essentially calling for retribution against his predecessor, has built ever since the the DOJ moved to dismiss its case against Michael Flynn. Oh, it's been a long time coming, man. It's ever since Mueller proved the Russiagate investigation was bunk. The whole thing was nonsense. I think we'll end up seeing some FBI agents thrown under the bus. I'm surprised that the people who lied under oath have not already been charged. I am surprised the FBI agents who were texting each other about insurance policies have not already been indicted. It's it's really surprising. But I will also point out what you got to understand about this. I don't believe it's a guarantee what he's saying. I, I think if hard evidence comes out, Bill Barr would have no choice but to make moves, especially with public pressure. But I also think he's got to play, he's playing a very dangerous game of chess. He's got to move very, very carefully and be very, very precise. And I think he is. Of course, things he said have been taken out of context. He's been smeared and the left has has called for his impeachment. Remove him. Yeah, because he's coming after him. So keep in mind, there are many people who are are screaming, arrest someone already. I'm surprised it hasn't happened. 
But it's probably because if he does make any moves, it better be airtight. And if you rush this and make one mistake, then you get nothing. And these people get away with whatever it is they did. They say both Biden and uh, Obama's chiefs of staff were among the officials involved in those requests. So this is the, uh, well, actually, let me go back. Barr and the G- DOJ cited problems with the FBI's interview with Michael Flynn, uh, you know, national security advisor, way back. New documents, meanwhile, indicated Obama was at least aware of the details of Flynn's intercepted December 2016 phone calls with Ambassador Kislyak that were a subject of that fateful interview. Then a list was released of Obama era officials involved in seeking to unmask what turned out to be Flynn's name in intelligence reports. Both Biden and Obama's chiefs of staff were among that. Trump last week insisted Obama was involved in an unspecified crime and continued to rail against the Obama administration in in interviews. I mean, Obama was involved, period. Somebody unmasked Flynn's name and leaked it to the press. That was illegal. That was Obama's administration. He was in these meetings. So yeah, it, it very likely not culpable, perhaps, but involved nonetheless. Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Lindsey Graham was later reluctant to go along with Trump's demand that Obama be called to testify. As to the, to the Judiciary Committee, both presidents are welcome to come before the, the committee and share their concerns about each other. If nothing else, it would make for great television. However, I have great doubts about whether it would be wise for the country, he said in a statement last week. Barr expressed similar reservations on Monday, making clear he's concerned about potential wrongdoing during the Russia probe, while also stressing that this process should not be a vehicle for retribution, saying this will not be and cannot be a tit for tat exercise. I completely agree with that. Noting the only way to break away from a dual system of justice is to ensure we scrupulously apply the same system to both sides of the aisle. Barr maintained that in the past few decades, there have been increasing attempts to use the criminal justice system as a political weapon. Using the flimsiest of legal theories, Barr said that is not a good development. It is not good for our political life. It is not good for our criminal justice system. Barr said that so long as he is attorney general, the criminal justice system will not be used for partisan political ends. Dare I say he may be the only good one left. Everybody else is is, is slinging mud. Barr said the nation is divided, and it's critical that we have an election where the, where the American people are allowed to make a decision, a choice between President uh, Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden, based on a robust debate of policy issues. Adding, we cannot allow this process to be hijacked by efforts to drum up criminal investigations of either candidate. Uh, going on to say, any effort to pursue an investigation of either candidate has to be approved by me. Now, Bill Barr's right, man. It's unfortunate it is. I know a lot of people want to see retribution, comeuppance. The Russiagate thing was totally fake news. Who was involved? Who did it? Hopefully some people are held to account. But think about what happens if you keep playing this game. Both sides will swing back and forth and every election will, will result in an investigation. Every election, every investigation, we'll see accusations, we'll, be, we'll see special counsel investigations. The challenge I, I, I see here is that, as I've said before, if we don't get to the bottom of this, if we don't know to what level Obama was involved, it's wholly unfair and lopsided. I said this before, that we have potential criminal wrongdoing. I'm glad that Durham is investigating it. If Biden or Obama is involved, then you can't ignore it. Now, Bill Barr is saying he doesn't, based on what he knows, it may not occur. Maybe what he's really saying is that they're really not involved. The evidence doesn't point to them. And many people want to think so, but it's not there. I don't know for sure. But think about how, how dangerous it you how dangerous it is and how you will push for a real civil war by telling Republicans and Trump supporters that for four or five years, you endured lies and smears from the intelligence agencies, from the tippy top who sought to, to destroy what you were voting for and fighting for, and we will not give you justice, then confidence is shattered. So I respect Bill Barr. I think he's trying to do the right thing. But I'm worried that if people feel there is no alternative, what's the saying? When peaceful revolution becomes impossible, violent revolution becomes inevitable. Now, this isn't necessarily a revolution, but you'll end up with a large group of people feeling like second class citizens, that what they ask for, what they need is smeared and tarred and feathered. And when they prove it's false and they demand justice, they are told no, that we did it. We failed. We got away with it. What do you think people do in that regard? Do you think they'll have confidence in the system? No. So this does scare me. But, you know, listen, 
There's a reason why I tend to be middle of the road and not particularly strong on a lot of issues. The alternative could also result in the same thing in the other direction. Think about what happens if Bill Barr does an investigation of, Ob- of, of uh, uh, Obama and Biden. I almost said, oh, Biden, Obama. Uh, that's a gaffe from Biden, by the way, for those who are not familiar. You get it. You get it. Think about what would happen. You get a bunch of lefty resistance types, Antifa, go around smashing windows, screeching, thinking that Trump has weaponized the DOJ against them. So how do you solve this problem? Man, I do not know. Perhaps there needs to be an investigation. Perhaps there needs to be a slap on the wrist. If they do an investigation, it will just be chaos for years to come. I don't like the idea of these hearings, man. I really don't. They were boring and awful in the first place, and now we're going to get more of them? I don't know to tell you. I see dark paths ahead of us no matter what happens. You don't do the investigation. You don't prove it. The Trump supporters are going to be furious. You, you do it. The, the Democrats, the anti-Trump people are going to be furious. The question then is, when has seeking justice, like when have we ever taken into account the perpetrators or supporters of the perpetrator when trying to figure out justice? Maybe Bill Barr really should do the investigation if it leads him there. And maybe he's just saying it doesn't. I don't know, man. Comment. Let me know what you think. This one's tough. I'll see you all tomorrow at 10 a.m. in the next segment. Thanks for hanging out.